to meet you. My name is Dr. Mad. I'm going to perform your examination today. Wonderful. Thank you so much for coming in. Great. So I think I have here your chart. We do have a little bit of information. But before we proceed, I would like to verify your first and last name and your date of birth. Mm. Wonderful. Perfect. This video is sponsored by June's Journey. June's Journey will take you across the globe in search of clues presented in episodic events. As far as the story goes, the game provides you with an interactive, novel-like experience. This makes the game even more realistic, immersive, and exciting as you progress further into the game. The game follows a combination of mysterious lore and hidden objects gameplay mechanics. June's journey story revolves around the exploits of Detective June Parker. Along with you and me, she will embark on a quest to unravel a scandalous family secret. Are you ready to go on an exciting journey to seek and find hidden objects in this adventurous unsolved detective mystery game? Sharp-eyed detectives, take matter into your own hands and let's go ahead and search for the clues. June's journey is the thrilling adventure you've been waiting for. Relax with a story of romance, intrigue, and mystery. As typical as the narrative may look, June's journey presents its riddles and mystery in a timely manner. It allows you to immerse yourself deep, deep into the mystery surrounding the entire game. Download June's journey for free by clicking the link in the description below. June's Journey is available on Android and iOS devices as well as on PC through Facebook games. Thank you June's Journey for sponsoring today's video and thank you for watching. So I do have the right chart which is great. Now I do see here that you are in for a cranial nerve examination. Okay. And can you explain a little bit why do you think that is necessary and what happened? Hmm. I'm just gonna go ahead and write this down if you don't mind. Okay. Okay. And when did your smell go away? three weeks ago. Okay. Any other symptoms that are concerning you? Okay. You're having a little bit of vision problems. Okay. Are you experiencing any double vision, blurry vision? I definitely agree with you that you are in need of a cranial nerve exam, so I'm definitely going to go ahead and do that for you. But before we proceed, I do want a little bit more information in regards to your medical history. Do you have any allergies? Mm. Okay. And are you allergic to any medications? Are you on a specific diet or any diet restrictions? Okay. Any major illnesses that I should be aware of? Is everybody in your family healthy at the moment? Did you have any hospitalizations in the last 12 months? Okay. And any injuries in the last 12 years? Okay. Okay, so you're 29 years old. Good. Let's 
the height is 5'6", correct? Okay. And weight is around 190. 190 pounds. Okay. Any history of ADHD, depression, anxiety? Okay. Any mood disorders? Are you taking any medications on a daily basis? Okay. And the ibuprofen is for what? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's more of a needed basis. Okay. Okay. All right. I see here you had knee surgery about 12 months ago. You forgot to mention that. Mm hmm. No worries, that's okay. Okay. Let's see. So I'm gonna go ahead and run a um, cognitive assessment really quick before I take your vital signs. Okay. Can you please state the place that you're in right now? Mm-hmm. You're oriented to person. Okay. Can you please tell me today's date? Okay. Also do time and date. You don't seem to be lethargic or withdrawn. Also oriented to place. And alert and oriented. Good. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put some gloves on and take your vital signs. Is that okay? Good. On a scale of 0 to 10, how would you rate your pain right now? It's about a 2. Okay. And is that all in the back of your head? I'm gonna go ahead and take your blood pressure. Do you have an art preference? Okay. Have you ever had a blood clot on any of your arms? Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose your right arm. Is that okay? I'm gonna go ahead and put the stethoscope right in between the crease of your arm. Okay, go ahead and relax. Okay. Okay, just relax. Good. Well, I have good news. Your blood pressure is not high at all, which really indicates that you might not have any intracranial pressure, and um, I think your heart is doing well, so that is very reassuring. I'm going to go ahead and take your oxygenation and your heart rate. This is going to go on your index finger, whichever you want. Good. Good. 
Can you take a deep breath in for me, please? Excellent. Okay, so your oxygenation is 98 percentile on room air. Your heart rate is 65 beats per minute, which for your uh, height and weight is really great. Okay. And have you had any flu-like symptoms? No. Were you in contact with anybody with the flu or any viral infections? Okay. right underneath your tongue so go ahead and open your mouth temperature is 98.5 Fahrenheit that's very good I'm gonna go ahead and toss this Part of any examination, I'm gonna go ahead and check your heart. Now, just relax and take a deep breath in whenever I tell you to do that, okay? Okay. Is it okay if I put my stethoscope underneath your shirt? Great. Okay, so go ahead and relax. Okay, right now I'm just listening to your heart. You don't need to take a deep breath in. Your heart sounds great. I can hear only S1 and S2. No S3, no S4. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and check for murmurs. Okay. For that, I'm gonna have you lean a little bit forward, just like that. And can you please take a deep breath in and hold it for one, two, three. Excellent. And breathe out. Good. I'm gonna do that again. Continue to be to stay lean forward, just about 20 degrees. And now take a deep breath in and hold it for one, two, and three. Good. And breathe out. Great. So I wasn't able to hear any murmurs, which indicates that you don't have any symptoms of heart failure. Also, no signs of any uh, valve abnormalities in your heart. Let's go ahead and check your lungs. Okay. I'm going to put the stethoscope again on your chest, but this time I'm going to need you to take a deep breath in. Go ahead. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Good. Again, take a deep breath in. And exhale. Good. Again, take a deep breath in. And exhale. Good. And again, take a deep breath in. And exhale. Great. I couldn't hear any ronca, you know, wheezing, no crackles. So that's very good, which means that you have no problems with your lungs and you're not complaining of any cough, any shortness of breath, which indicates that your lungs are functioning properly. Now, we're gonna go ahead, since we ruled out anything else, we're gonna go ahead and check all 12 cranial nerve uh, nerves today. So we're gonna do a very thorough cranial nerve exam. Is that okay? 
Okay, yeah, I do need to get permission for every exam that I do because uh, it's very hard for me to explain everything from the beginning. So as I move forward, I'm going to ask for permission to do stuff um, to, you know, to examine you further. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So let's go ahead. We're going to start with facial sensation. Yeah. And since you are complaining of some numbness right here around your mouth, I'm going to go ahead and just slowly palpate your mouth around and go up around your eyes as well. Is that okay? Okay. So go ahead and relax. You can even close your eyes. Is that that's okay? I'm not feeling any kind of abnormalities and it seems to me like you can feel everything in your face just with the exception of around your mouth okay and you look very relaxed your skin is very well perfused I'm not noticing any type of scars or lesions Okay, skin is also appropriate to race and ethnicity. Good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and check your reflexes around your your mouth only and your and your face. I'm gonna go ahead and ask you to just lower your jaw, just open your jaw a little bit. Good. So just keep it relaxed, just like this. Good. I'm gonna go ahead and just tap. Good. So I got a very normal response there. And now I'm gonna go home, go ahead and tap on the bony prominences. Go ahead and relax. Good. 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 Everything looks very good. I'm gonna go ahead and check your facial sensation next. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and perform a sharper dull test. If you're not familiar with this, I'm gonna go ahead and explain what it entails. Now, this is what dull will feel like. I'm gonna go ahead and touch you with this part of the brush. And this is what sharp will feel like. I'm gonna go ahead and touch you with the, with the tip of the brush, okay? So this is sharp and this is dull. Does that make sense? Great. Okay, so go ahead and close your eyes and tell me if it's sharp or dull. Dull. Perfect. What about now? Also dull. Okay. What about now? Sharp. And where did you feel that on your face? Okay. Also sharp, and where did you feel that on your face? Great. And what about now? Also sharp, okay? Let's go ahead and continue. Tell me if it's sharp or dull. Wonderful. What about now? Good. What about now? And where did you feel that on your face? Great. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and use a different tool, but it's going to be the same technique, the same principles. So this is what doll will feel like. Okay. And if you extend your palm, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Perfect. And I'm going to poke you with this part, and this is what sharp will feel like. Don't worry, nothing will hurt. I'm just going to go ahead and show you on your palm. Extend. Okay, so nothing to be worried of. Okay, 
go ahead and close your eyes and tell me if it's sharp or dull. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. That looks very good. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to check your sensation to cold. So I'm going to touch you with this ice globe. It's very cold, but I need you to tell me if it's cold or hot. Okay, even though I'm telling you that it's cold, maybe it's hot, so just tell me what you feel, okay? I'm going to ask you again to close your eyes. And tell me where you feel this. Okay, and was that cold or hot? Good, what about now? Cold or hot? And where did you feel that on your face? Great. What about now? Good. What about now? Excellent. And Perfect. Cold or hot? Good. And now, cold or hot? Good. Good. So you do have full sensation right under your eyes. Cold everywhere. Excellent. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and touch your face again. Please tell me if you feel this. Good. 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 And did you feel that equally on both sides? Wonderful. I'm gonna go ahead and check your neck as well. Please tell me if you feel any kind of pain. I'm looking for any lymph node enlargement. Although, visually, from what I'm looking at, like, at you right now, I don't see anything concerning. But just to be sure. Okay, go ahead and relax. Good. Okay, I'm also checking your collarbone and the lift notes right above the collarbones. Can you please swallow for me? I'm gonna go ahead and check your trachea. Good, midline and also your thyroid gland okay. so thyroid gland is not enlarged sometimes it can give some neurological symptoms but since i'm not seeing any anatomical problems with it and also your lab work was normal i'm gonna go ahead and take it as a negative uh, sign mm -hmm. okay i'm gonna go ahead and check your nose and your mouth next also, let me know if you are experiencing any symptoms besides the numbness. No. Okay. okay I'm going to ask you to give me a big ah. Uh. I'm going to go ahead and check if everything is a midline. To move your tongue up and down for me. Up, good, down, good. Side, good, side, good. Wonderful. Can you please push with your tongue inside your cheek? 
excellent and inside your other cheek now excellent can you please give me a big smile mm, very good and now go ahead and frown good and puff your cheeks just like i do good can you please keep them puffed for me i'm gonna go ahead and try to unpuff don't let me do that good wonderful any abnormalities with your nose not that you know of okay so first let's go ahead and close one air do what i do okay and now i'm gonna need you to breathe in breathe out through your nose excellent and same thing on the other side i'm going to just show you what to do great and now go ahead and breathe in breathe out through your nose okay perfect Okay, both nares are patent. I'm gonna go ahead and just visualize it inside your um, nasal uh, canal. Okay, so can you please look up for me? Great. Okay. Good. Uh, nasal mucosa is pink and moist. I'm not seeing any kind of obstruction. Okay, let's go ahead and check your other side now. Keep on looking up for me. Okay. It seems like there is something stuck in there. But okay, it might just be the polyps. We will not know until we get a CT scan of your face. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, so far this is the only thing that I was able to find abnormal and not even that i would say it's abnormal like a lot of people have polyps inside their nose uh some are more enlarged than others but um just to be sure i'm gonna have you do a scan and see what it is mm -hmm. okay in that case i'm gonna go ahead and check your taste buds make sure that you have also full sensation and you can recognize the basic taste levels. I'm going to start with a very basic one. I'm going to put one drop on your tongue and can you please tell me if it's sweet or bitter and then go ahead and try to label the taste. Okay, so it's definitely twi uh, sweet mm -hmm. and it tastes like watermelon. Okay, that sounds appropriate. I'm gonna go ahead and try one more. Okay, so go ahead and open your mouth. And was that salty or bitter? It was salty. Okay. Mm. It tastes like french fries. Perfect. Yeah, our scientists worked really hard to make this potion. So I'm glad that you are able to identify it. Okay. And I do have one more. I'm gonna go ahead and ask you if it's salty or sweet. So go ahead and open your mouth. I'm gonna go ahead and put a few drops on your tongue. Okay, so it's definitely bitter. Mm -hmm. And can you like put a label on it? Okay. Okay, perfect. Now, I do have a very extensive smell test and I'm going to ask you to first close one air just like we did previously when we checked if they're patent or not. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to try to describe the smell first and then to identify it. Okay. Of course, to the best of your abilities. Okay. 
So go ahead and close one ear and I try to take a deep breath in. definitely smells sweet yeah and yes this is sugar it's brown sugar okay now this is one of my favorites and I think you're going to love it as well Go ahead and close the other nair now. Mm -hmm. And can you please take a deep breath in? And first, try to describe the smell. After that, if you can please tell me what it smells like. Okay. Mm -hmm. These are rose petals. I'm going to ask you to keep both nares patent now and just try to breathe in, breathe out and see if you can identify the smell. This is a little bit tricky, it's not going to be a very easy one. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Good. So what does it smell like? Mm -hmm. It's very familiar, right, with the taste that you just had, and this is watermelon, exactly. Okay, now I do have one more, and I guess I don't have it anymore. Anyway, let's go ahead and try a basic smell. And... With both nares, you can go ahead and take a sniff. Mm -hmm. Can you please describe the smell first? Yeah, definitely flowery. It has a very calming potion. And indeed, it is lavender. Okay, wonderful. I'm gonna go ahead and check your vision next. Now, I do know that you said you're experiencing some blurry vision, so I'm gonna try to be very careful with that. Okay, wonderful. Are you comfortable right now? Great. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come a little bit closer, okay? And I'm going to divide your field of vision into half. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and flash a light in your in your eyes. Go ahead and look straight in my nose, okay? Good. And the same thing on the other side. Good. So your pupils around are reactive to light, also accommodating, which is a very good sign. Let's go ahead and do another exercise. I'm going to have you follow my finger with your eyes only. Don't move your head. Okay. We want to make sure that your peripheral vision is intact. Also that your eyes can move in all six quadrants. Mm -hmm. Great, so keep on following my finger. You're doing wonderful. So your ocular movement is intact. I'm not noticing any abnormalities there. Everything looks good. Wonderful. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and cover one eye for you. So, something like this. Can you please tell me how many fingers you see in your field of vision? And go ahead and tell me when you see my fingers in your field of vision. 
Now, good. Now, good. Now, excellent. Okay, same thing on the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and cover half of your vision. Can you please tell me how many fingers I'm holding? Now go ahead and tell me when you see my fingers in your field of vision. Now, good. Now, good. Now, good. Okay, so go ahead and look at my fingers right here now. Great. And now look at my fingers right here. Perfect. So go ahead and tell me which fingers are moving right or left. Good. Wonderful. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wiggle my fingers out of your vision, okay? And I'm gonna need you to tell me when you don't see my fingers in your field of vision. Great. Now, good. Now, excellent. Now, good. Now, wonderful. And tell me what color this is yellow and what color is this green okay what i'm gonna need you to do is to follow the yellow ball with all sake okay don't let yourself distract it by the green ball i'm gonna go ahead and bring it in your field of vision and try to distract you but just try to keep on focusing on the yellow ball okay okay wonderful so keep on looking at the yellow ball. Great. Okay. Right, I see you here are trying to focus a little bit on the green ball. So just go ahead and keep on following, following only the yellow one. Mm -hmm. And don't move your head, only your eyes. Now go ahead and shift your vision to the green one. Mm -hmm. Good. 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 Wonderful. Okay, everything looks very good. Now let's go ahead and Check you for color deficiency. It is protocol and part of the examination. I have here a book. I'm going to ask you to identify the numbers. Can you please tell me what number this is? Eight. Six. Fifteen. Seventy-four. Two. And nine. Perfect. Okay. 
I'm gonna go ahead and check your hearing and your ears next. Have you noticed any changes in your hearing? Okay, so if we would do a whisper test right now, you would be able to hear the words very clearly, correct? Okay, wonderful. So I'm gonna go ahead and say some words in your ears. I'm gonna need you to repeat them back to me. And also part of neurological assessment is that at the end you tell me the words that I just told you in this whisper test in the exact order. Are you able to do that? Perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. Okay, perfect. Turtle. Excellent. Octopus. Wonderful. Penguin. Perfect. Lion. Excellent. Very good. Crocodile. Okay. So it seems to me like your hearing is intact. I'm gonna go ahead and check your hearing with a tuning fork now. Okay. This is a tuning fork. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is to strike it and create a vibration sound. I'm going to put it right here behind your ear and I'm going to ask you to tell me when you don't hear the sound anymore. I'm going to do that in both ears, okay? Great. Let's go ahead and begin. Now. Excellent. Okay, same thing on the other side. Now. Okay, wonderful. That uh, test was normal. I'm going to go ahead and ask you to identify which position here is louder now. Okay, so I'm going to put it in one position, which is position number one, and then position number two. This way I'll be able to realize if you're having any differences in your ears, if you have any hearing loss, also if you have any fluid behind your ears, if you have any infection uh, that is stuck right here in the mastoid bone. Okay. Yeah, and sometimes those kind of symptoms can trigger neurological um, problems as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. So this is position number one. Good. And this is position number two. Number two. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and check your other side. This is position number one. And this is position number two. Number two. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and check the inside of your ears. I'm gonna look for any fluid, for any infection, any leakage. Okay. Good. Let me know if you're experiencing any kind of pain. Now, can you please look that way for me? Good. Okay. I'm not seeing any kind of And I'm going to go ahead and look on your other side as well. Go ahead and look that way for me.
perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and continue with the hearing test. I know that sometimes I may miss some symptoms um, or, you know, some signs. So, can you please close your eyes? Good. And tell me with which ear you hear this sound. Good. And what about now? Wonderful. What about now? Perfect. Okay. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to check your neurological responses. So I'm going to use my hammer and just tap on your bony prominences. I'm going to start with the shoulders, move down to uh, your elbow and then to your wrist and then to your knees and then right um, above the pedal pulses. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go ahead and relax for me, please. Good. 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 And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Next, I'm going to go ahead and ask you to extend your palm. Perfect. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some objects in your palm and I'm going to ask you to identify them. Okay? So go ahead and please close your eyes. And I'm going to ask you to identify this object. And after that, I'm going to go ahead and show it to you. Sounds good? Good. So. This is the first one. Go ahead and just feel it and tell me what it feels like. What do you think it is? Mm -hmm. It's definitely a penguin. Good job. Go ahead and open your eyes. Wonderful. Okay. And I have one more. Close your eyes now. I'm going to put it in your palm. Extend it. Great. And go ahead and tell me if you can identify this animal. Mm -hmm. Good. Wonderful. It is a turtle. And yeah, I was able to find a very big one, so you can easily identify it. All right. Well, so far, it's wonderful. Let's go ahead and try one more, and after that, we're done. Okay, go ahead and close your eyes. Good. And extend your palm. All right, I'm just going to sit it right here in the middle of your palm. Okay. Go ahead and try and feel it, and tell me if you can identify this animal. Good. Yeah. So it has ears, it has arms, and yeah, even the little toes, you can feel them. It is definitely a panda bear. Excellent. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and ask you to tell me the words that I just whispered in your ears. If you can remember them to the best of your abilities, that would be great. Okay. 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 Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Wonderful. So, you are correct, which really tells me that neurologically everything is intact. So, that's perfect. Let's go ahead and discuss the results. Pupils are round and reactive to light and accommodating, so that's very normal. You're not complaining of any seizures, no headaches, and you don't seem to have any paralysis on one side or the other, and you can move your fingers and your arms equally. No numbness, no tingling um, on your body except for the mouth, which I believe it may be caused by the polyps that I just saw in your nose. But 
let's go ahead and do the scan. I'm gonna go ahead and order a CT scan. I'm gonna go ahead and order a CT scan. It is not urgent, so don't uh, don't be alarmed. Okay, perfect. I can't prescribe any medications for something that I don't have a diagnosis yet. Does that make sense? All right, what I'm going to need you to do is to make that appointment for the CT scan and after that I'm going to try to figure out what's going on and if you need, we're going to have to do more scans, we'll see. But I might have you come back and do another cranial nerve exam. How does that sound? Wonderful. All right, so it's scheduled. Let's go ahead and schedule it for next week. Does that sound okay? Okay, so next week I'm available on Tuesday and Thursdays. Okay, so you want to do Thursday. Is 3 o'clock okay or do you prefer 4 o'clock like today? Okay. Wonderful. Thank you so much for your patience. My name is Dr. Mad and it was a pleasure to take care of you tonight. Great. Take care now. I'll see you soon.